Hello, I'm Steve D'Angelo, Executive Director of Harborside Health Center in Oakland, California. Greetings, warm greetings to all of my brothers and sisters, all of my fellow lovers of cannabis in the state of Washington. As you may have heard, in July of this year, Harborside was targeted with a property forfeiture seizure by U.S. Attorney Melinda Haig. Harborside was just the latest in hundreds of dispensaries that have been targeted and have been closed all across the state of California and dozens more that have been closed in Colorado and in Washington using the same tactic of threatening to seize properties from landlords or actually seizing those properties. But when they picked Harborside, they ran into an organization, a group of people who is completely dedicated to our patients. Uh, we are not going to close our doors. We are not going to abandon our patients. Instead, we have fought back against the federal government. We have challenged them in court. The city of Oakland has joined us in those efforts and has filed their own lawsuit against the feds. And we look forward to taking them to court and defeating them in a way that they never expected when they started this procedure. I've been so busy with this struggle this struggle for survival, not just for Harborside, but really for, I think, every dispensary across the country, that I haven't had much opportunity to speak out on another topic that's really important to me, and that's Initiative 502, getting ready to be voted on in your state of Washington. You know, I know that Initiative 502 is not perfect. There's very few initiatives ever that are perfect. There's certainly elements of 502 that I wish weren't there. If 502 is defeated, the world's not going to hear about those flaws in 502. What the world is going to hear, what the federal government is going to hear, is that another progressive West Coast state said no to legalizing cannabis. That Washington, just like California last election cycle, isn't even ready to do this. I don't think that that's something that we can afford to have happen. In California, we learned, we learned the hard way that losing elections has real consequences. After the defeat of Prop 19, not long after that defeat, we saw this new campaign by the federal government to close down dispensaries, to attack patient rights, to roll back regulations here in the birthplace of medical cannabis, and they've been very, very successful at doing that. The beginning of that process was losing an election that we should have won. We should always debate vigorously amongst our community, but once we get something on the ballot, we should all pull together and make sure that we win, even if it's not perfect, even if it's flawed. You know, we are all uh, one community. We are all bound together by the same destiny. We love the same plant. We are oppressed by the same system. Our lives are impacted by the same laws. We need to hang together. Remember, we're all part of a larger community. I'm asking all of my friends, all of my fans, all of my supporters, all those who believe in cannabis as a medicine, all those who are providing medicine to patients, all those who believe in justice and compassion, please do all you can to campaign for and vote for Initiative 502. It is the best way to preserve the rights that patients have achieved so far and to extend and enhance those rights to the many, many, many more people who deserve them who do not yet have them. Let's all join together and send a very clear message to the rest of the world that there is one place here on our planet that has the wisdom, that has the courage, that has the foresight to recognize that cannabis is a good plant, not an evil plant. And let that place be Washington State and let that time be now. Thank you for listening. Please. Go to the polls and vote for 502.